Here is Chris Cipollini reading his own poem, Signs That Mock Me. The signs were everywhere. The paradox is plentiful. The world was in bloom, yet hospitals were full. The sky was never more radiant, yet we were sequestered inside. Our hands were never more clean, as fear of a virus made us scrub them within an inch of their lives. The people were never more communicative, but it was born of fear and uncertainty. My pen was never more animated, and yet the topics were bleak. This was the reminder. I really began to see the frailties of my human condition. The chinks in what I felt up until now was an infallible armor. Life is so delicate. Spiderweb level, yet spun on a brittle branch that is often besieged by brutal winds and it weakened my resolve. The constant beat of news and information, well-meaning as it was, made me fear and dread any cough or sneeze or seemingly innocuous seasonal symptoms, blowing them out of proportion until my sleep was minimized and my mind appended by trepidation. I lay in bed with neither phone nor music, no entertainments, only the white noise of my fan and the delicate trickle of a diffuser as my soundtrack. Try as I may, I was shaken. Like a sturdy picture that had come crashing down after years in one spot, I was now forever watching over my shoulder. My faith in my own body had been rocked. It seemed that life itself had toppled to the floor, and all had to reassess themselves, as Mother Earth, long ago banished to the sidelines, had brazenly seized her rug back. This didn't discriminate. Mothers and children, fathers and sons, lawyers and artisans, painters and garbage workers, waitresses and welders, collars of white and blue, bodies of old and young, all would be affected. All would be upheaved. All would lay heel to an archaic uncertainty. The stubborn would be just that. The complicit would shut themselves away until the coast would clear. The indefatigable and willful would try their best to bargain and negotiate the matter, but there was no bargaining. And it didn't matter. For like some modern version of the dance macabre, all of us, of all ranks, would clasp hands with this ever stalwart, crimson crown dawning chaos lord and go dancing off, willing and unwilling, to who knows where, to futures yet untold. Some to our homes. Some to a hospital bed. Some to a coffin. Some knowing nothing at all. And all the while, the skies would shine blue. The larks would sing. The rivers and streams would shine crystalline and divine, and nature would roam again, giving no thought to us at all. Something to think about in this year of the wrath. <laughs>